All right, today we are diving deep into one of the most talked about companies in the entire AI space, CoreWeave. We're going to tear down their latest earnings call and piece together a real investor's guide. We'll look at the absolutely massive opportunity and the very real risks that come with it. So let's get right into it. It's impossible to ignore, right? We are smack in the middle of a modern day gold rush, and this time the gold is AI. But here's the thing about any gold rush. The real money isn't always in the gold itself. It's in the tools you need to mine it. And for AI, that means one thing above all else, just an incredible amount of computing power. And that is exactly where a company like CoreWeave steps in. See, they're not building the flashy AI models themselves. Nope, they are selling the picks and shovels. They provide that super specialized cloud infrastructure that everyone, and I mean everyone, from tiny startups to the biggest cloud providers on the planet, absolutely needs to run their AI. And let me tell you, the demand is just off the charts. Okay, so here's our game plan for today. First, we're going to look at the bull case, all the reasons to be excited about their insane growth. Then we'll flip that coin and dig into the bear case, which really boils down to one thing, execution risk. From there, we'll check out their defenses, their competitive moat, before we wrap it all up with an investment verdict. All right, let's kick things off with the bull case. And really, it's all about one thing, just explosive momentum. Seriously, the numbers that came out of their last quarter are, well, they're pretty jaw-dropping. So first up, revenue. Just for Q3 of 2025, CoreWeave brought in a cool 1.4 times billion dollars. That number alone tells you the incredible scale we're talking about here. This isn't some small player anymore. But wait, he gets crazier. The really mind-blowing part is the growth rate. That 1.4 billion, that's a 134% jump from the same time last year. You know, we're not just talking about growth here. This is pure hyper growth, and it's all being fueled by what their CEO perfectly described as insatiable customer demand. Now, for anyone looking at this as an investment, this next number is huge. The backlog. CoreWeave is sitting on over $55 billion in future revenue that's already signed, sealed, and delivered in contracts. This isn't some pie-in-the-sky projection. This is business they've already locked in. It gives them this incredible view into what their earnings are going to look like down the road. And just look at how fast that backlog is piling up. It almost doubled in just one quarter. To put that into perspective, and this is a quote from their CEO, CoreWeave hit a $50 billion backlog faster than any other cloud provider in history. Think about that for a second. Faster than anyone. Another really strong part of the bull case is how they're diversifying their customer base. You see, at the beginning of the year, they were heavily reliant on one single customer for 85% of their backlog. That's risky. But now, no single customer is more than 35%. That is a massive shift. It seriously reduces their risk and proves that this huge demand is coming from all over the place, not just one big player. Okay, so that all sounds amazing, right? But every single one of these hypergrowth stories has a flip side. And the bear case for CoreWeave, well, it has nothing to do with a lack of demand. The problem is the complete opposite. It's about the massive, massive challenge of just trying to scale fast enough to keep up. It all comes down to execution risk. And look, this isn't just me or some analyst saying this. This comes straight from the top. The CEO, Michael Intrigator, was really candid on their earnings call. He said the whole industry is up against these systemic challenges that exist within the supply chains. It's a huge problem for everyone trying to build this stuff out. So what's the actual holdup? You might think it's a shortage of those fancy NVIDIA chips, or maybe not enough electricity, but it's not. The real bottleneck is something called the powered shell. Basically, it's just the physical data center building, the concrete, the cooling, the power hookups, before you even install the servers. And the industry just can't physically build these shells fast enough. And these delays, they have very real bottom line consequences. CoreWeave actually had to lower its guidance for the year. Why? Because one of their key third-party data center developers just couldn't keep up and fell behind schedule. It's a perfect example of how much they depend on their partners to get this massive construction job done. So you have this incredible demand, but these huge roadblocks. How does a company like CoreWeave protect itself? Well, that brings us to their competitive moat you know, the special advantages that help them stand out from the crowd and defend their turf. And CoreWeave has been really smart about building this defense. For starters, they always seem to be first in line to get NVIDIA's brand new chips. That's a huge deal. On top of that, their own custom-built software is so good it's won a major industry performance award not once but twice. 
you throw in some really clever acquisitions and a special partnership with NVIDIA itself, and you start to see a really strong defensible business. You know, one of their secret weapons is what they call fungible infrastructure. That's just a fancy way of saying their compute power is super flexible. It's not locked into one customer or one specific job. They can easily switch capacity between different clients or shift from training an AI model to running it. This flexibility is absolutely crucial. It means they're way less likely to get stuck with expensive, empty servers. And they're not just staying in their lane either. They're making some really strategic acquisitions to move up the food chain. So they bought OpenPipe to offer better tools for developers. They grabbed Marimo to build a stronger connection with the open source community. And they picked up Monoliths to push into real-world industrial AI. See what they're doing? They're not just renting out servers anymore. They're building a complete end-to-end -end AI platform. All right, we've seen the mind-boggling growth, and we've talked about the very real risks. So now, let's put it all together and try to come to an investment verdict. So here it is, the big question. Is CoreWeave a buy? After weighing everything we've just talked about, what's the takeaway? And it really does boil down to this simple contrast. On one side, you've got a company that is just firing on all cylinders. Insane demand, a $55 billion backlog, a solid technical moat, and they're diversifying their customers like crazy. But on the other side, you have these massive execution risks, these industry-wide supply chain problems, and the fact that they've already had to cut their guidance because of it. So, after digging through everything, here's our thesis. CoreWeave is a classic high-growth, high-risk play on the AI infrastructure boom. The potential upside is... Well, it's undeniably huge, but the operational headaches that come with trying to grow this fast are just as big. In the end, it's all going to come down to one simple word, execution. The company says the current delays are just temporary, and they may well be right, but those delays perfectly captured a number one risk here. The big question you have to ask as an investor is, can they actually build fast enough to deliver on that $55 billion promise? Answering that is everything. And finally, we absolutely have to end with this. Please remember, this analysis is just for informational purposes. It is not financial advice. You should always, always do your own homework and consult with a professional before making any investment decisions.